Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a first repair repression. First impression on this foundation. This is called the Raw Superfood Infused Beauty Foundation in the shade Vanilla 20. It's making me nervous because it says on the bottle here, color may vary or change over time during a due to a high percentage of natural ingredients. Now, I did smell this, and it smells very sickening, so, and I don't mean it in a good way. I mean, like, if you go to a doctor's surgery, and, or your grandma's house, and it's just, it has that very sickly, uh, like, so if you're very sensitive to smells like I am, don't buy it. Try this at all, don't buy it. It's 35 fucking dollars. So we're going to see if this is worth it. Um, I've already primed using the Master Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer. We're going to get straight on into it and see how this goes. So I'm going to put this straight on my Beauty Blender. I have I heard no one talk about this as well. So it's just been released here in Aussie. Oh, God, that smell. Oh, sorry, I just need to... My, the smell is very overpowering, and I don't mean it in a good way, like, ugh. I don't think, sorry, it's just the smell. It's so bad. Oh, God. I'm trying to blend as quickly as possible. Let me zoom you guys in. Yeah, not the best smell. Color wise, I like. Oh god, I'm sorry, the smell is giving me a headache. And usually, you know, I can handle with some smell, but this one, mm mm. And it smells also like a bit. Don't know why I'm putting on my eyes with the smell. Oh god. Um, it's not covering up well. I noticed that. I mean my pimples are showing. Here and here. I've got this redness patch here and the smell is just horrible, so I'm not loving it. Trying to cover up this redness, but it's not working. So I'll have to go over with concealer. I use two pumps of it. The foundation is thick. Well, a little bit runny, but not very. I just built it all over myself. God damn it. What else can go wrong with me today? Do you guys always have those moments where it's like, Something just never works out for you on that day and it makes you very frustrated. Because that's how I'm feeling at the moment. Oh, this is making me throw up the smell. So, if you go on roll with four pumps, you get like a medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's the best. And I like full coverage to get rid of these nasty things. It clings to your dry patches, which is weird because on the bottle it says create a perfectly glowing canvas with this super hydrating formula in which with wild berry harvest, super berries to insist a long-term skin hydration. It contains natural coconut and vanilla and lime fragrance. So that's why it smells sick. Cause that's that fragrance but it also contains coconut water wild berry harvest raw cacao and rosehip oil maybe some of those ingredients aren't the best to put in here rosehip oil probably good but the other stuff ugh, but it's supposed to be superfood maybe it's supposed to give your skin extra hydration i don't know but to me it's drying out my skin 
and I have dry to dehydration to a desert on my face so that's why I love testing out foundation to see if it actually really works well on my skin type and so far not looking good at all which is a waste of $35 <laughs> don't like it when I waste money Mm, yeah, so this is a more natural to medium coverage. It's done nothing to my nose. It's clinging to my dry patches underneath my nose. Pimples are still there. Redness on this cheek is still here. This side is looking okay. But it's not looking okay everywhere else. See what I mean? Dryness, dryness, showing, okay. So if you're someone who loves full coverage, don't go with this foundation. If you don't like a percent in foundations, don't use this foundation. It's got 30 mils, which is standard. But the only reason I tried it is because this is super hydrating, but it also was made in Australia, which is very rare. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more, just to see if I could dab it over that redness. If not, I'll have to go in with some concealer and a bit of my nose. Yeah, so it's separating already so I can tell this is not for long wear foundation or for the summertime let's move on to concealer and so I'm gonna do every all my makeup all over and we'll see over time how it goes but this is what the bottle looks like by the way so it's simple I guess it's got the timber cap or plastic it looks very industrial a bit or natural I don't know how you guys would say it but sorry the scent is just it's terrible I'm gonna have to wash my beauty blender after because I'm not gonna have that all over my face for the whole week no sorry okay so I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair my and the weather's not helping here either because one minute it's like 38 degrees the next minute it's 22 so that's not helping either so let's blend this out and see if it does anything to the foundation oh that smell Yeah, so with the concealer on top, it's separating. I don't know if you guys can see, but it basically covered nothing. And this is a very high coverage concealer. But here, it's separating a lot. Under my nose here, here, here. This is not going to go well, I can tell. Oh boy. I had high hopes for this. Wish I better because I spent 35 bucks. And it just made that redness disappear. Oh no, not disappear, come again. Okay, so concealer over top. No go. And they had this whole raw makeup line, but I was not going to spend 35, 40 bucks on every other product out there. Like, that's how expensive it is. And I'm just like, why would you make it so expensive? when it's not really that good 
Oh man, I'm being savage today. And you know, I applied a very good moisturizer too. I applied the um, Clinique Moisture Surge, which is supposed to be good for dry skin. So it's not like, and a prime, hydrating primer. So it's not like my skin has got any hydration in. I just don't think this foundation is going to work for me, which is a shame. Yeah, I give up over that side. God damn it, this is a bloody fail. I can tell. I'm going to see if I can cover my pimples. So with the concealer, it sort of made my pimples disappear, but in the foundation is just clinging to them. And then there's this dry patch right here that it did not cover. So if you have very dry skin like I do, I'm feeling this is not going to be the one for you. So let's go ahead and move on because otherwise we're just going to be running out of time. I'm going to go with the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Infinition Light Plus to set it. This might be a bad idea. And I'm taking the Exo Beauty Vegan Powder Brush. Just so pissed off that I wasted $35. Can anyone else relate? So I was going to attempt to do my everyday makeup with this, but oh, the smell. The smell is giving me a headache. Like, it's bad. It's very overpowering. I just, I wish there was a sniffer through the lens so you guys could smell what I'm smelling. That's how bad it is. I'm not going to wear it all day because really I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be probably stay inside and read. I'm reading at the moment um, The Darkest Minds. I'm up to the second book, which is never fade because I recently saw the movie. I'm like, I don't know what happens next. But I'm always like that. I never read the books before the movie unless it was Deathly Hollows. That's the only exception. <laughs> That was loud. Okay, I'm going to take the Hula Benefit bronzer in light. And I'm just going to take that on this Real Techniques brush. I don't know what it's called. And I'm using this as my blush. Yeah, so with the powder on top, it's actually making it disappear, the foundation. I'll show you. Can you tell I'm not impressed? <laughs> right here near my nose. It's separating under my eyes. Separating like this side actually does not look too bad. This side is my problem area. Does anyone else have a problem area on your face? And if so, what is it? What is it? Because I would love to know. But I can never make this side look good. Actually, my eyebrow looks really good today. Hmm. Better than this side. So my eyebrow is okay, but my face makeup, no. Oh God, that's 
Okay, highlighter. I'm using Benefit Burn the Line Twinkle. And I'm going to take it on a foundation paddle brush by Exo Beauty. Not sponsored by her. I wish I loved Shannon, but I just love her brushes as well. I'm just going to chuck that on. I'm going to care in the world. Something else. Something needs to look good. Might as well be the highlight. Look at that. Holy moly. That's what I call a highlight. Alright, now I'm going to go on to... Where's my mascara? Oh, it's rolled under my bookcase. I'm going to use my eyeshadows now. This is very quick. It's nothing. I'm just getting ready for the day, but I thought I'd try out the foundation on camera and see where it goes. But you guys could probably already tell if it's approved or not. <laughs> I probably don't need to end this. I'm just going to take my Wizarding World, not Wizarding World, the Storybrooks Wizarding Brush Collection thingamabob. And I'm going to go with Makeup Geek, what's this called? Latte Shade. That is this one here. Chuck that in the crease. It is summer here. Well, no, it's spring, but it's heading towards summer. So I'm not going to go over the top. So it's just like that. Sorry, I know I don't talk. I usually talk during my eyeshadow. I like to concentrate. So I don't mess anything up. But this is like three or four shades, so. Ain't there something to mess up with. I'm going to take again this Expert Beauty Vegan Eyeshadow Brush. I'm going to the shade Rapunzel by Makeup Geek. So pretty. Like. Look at this swatch. This is like, I don't know how to explain it. Light shimmery shade. And then this is what it looks like when it's swatched. Like, it's beautiful just all, all over the lid. If you're considering what shades to get, get that one. You don't even need Mac. X plus to make it bright because it's already so bright. With the powder, it made that smell go away a little bit, but I could still smell it in the air. Just opening my window, sorry. I know you can probably hear the birds and the cars. I just need to get that smell out. Check that all over. And I'm going to go back in with that wizarding brush that I used earlier. It's very sticky still. The foundation, like got an itch here. I don't want to ruin that. Oh, that smell. And then for my brow highlight, I'm just going to take Ice Queen. Which is this white shade by Makeup Geek and chuck that all over the brow. Or oh, under the brow, I should say. I'm taking it on the Sigma pencil brush. And I'm putting it in the inner corner too. And usually I switch it up. Sometimes I wear bronzer, sometimes I wear um, blush. Sometimes I do both. But 
But this eyeshadow look is how I, my go-to recently. All right, and then I'm gonna take Benefit Roller Lash. In my eye products I Benefit, like I love Benefit for eyes and like the blushes and stuff. I use the Dandelion blush. And this mascara makes my lashes look even more beautiful. Oh, having that window open makes it so much better. Now I don't. I would normally put on a lipstick if I go out with a friend, but. I just don't bother sometimes because it just comes out anyway. So I'm just going to get a makeup wipe. Wipe off all the stuff on my hands and then go over my lips with it. Oh, like that. Okay, so... Final oh, hallway. Oh no, one thing. Settings for so that No, that's in. Let's go out. Oh god, this video is going to be a while. It's 21 minutes already. Jeez, when the time goes. I don't know how beauty YouTubers do it and hold their breath at the same time. It must be part of fish. Now I feel like I've gone swimming. Okay, so let's go over the verdict. Now, is this approved by me? No, it's not. I don't, like, I mean, maybe if you're normal to oily combination, you might like this. And if you're not, and if you don't mind the scent, you might like this. But if you're like me, um, see, it didn't even come out my pimples, which is, that's my biggest area of coverage. I would love it if they covered that. My redness is still, I mean, the blush is, uh, the bronzer is kind of hiding it, but you can still tell if I zoom in really closely. I don't know, oh, this might be a bit too much. Oh, hello, focus. Come on. So you can see here, I'm separating here. I'm separating on my nose. Here. Underneath here. Chin here. It didn't even cover up my darkness, like underneath my eyes as well. No, which way is which? There you are. Um. Although I do like my forehead, usually I have a problem with foundation where it sinks into my lines here when I do that, but it doesn't really do it that much. I mean, it sort of did then, but it's not as bad as my other, oh, sorry, I'm blocking, as my other foundations. Um, so is this full coverage? No. It's a sheer to medium coverage, I guess. Not a big fan of the scents, as I keep saying throughout this whole video. Um, cover color wise, I like it. I was a bit nervous at first because that was the only lightest shade there. So, and they didn't have much. They only had like six, seven light shade, like seven shades. So, anyway, sorry about that. My camera cut out. Um, so it's not the best color selection, which is so stupid considering Australia has like 26 million people and there's a lot of different colors there's really dark skin tones there's chocolate brown skin tones to like tan skin tones to the palest of the palest like what I am I'm basically snow white so you know it's very stupid that an Australian company only put like seven or eight shades out just saying so is this inclusivity 
No. Is the smell approved? No. Coverage wise, maybe if you like something like that. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm glowing, but I don't know. I gotta keep tossing it with playing with it, but for me, the smell. No, I'm gonna have to have the window open in order for me to use this in my beauty blender. It smells horrible, so I'm gonna have to wash this. Um, so is this approved by me? Based on all the cons on this, no, it's not. It's thirty-five dollars for goodness sake. Go ahead, go find something cheaper like the L'Oreal Pro Glow. That gives you this same amount effect, but more full coverage and more glowing than this one um i don't know what else to say so if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up click subscribe before you leave and leave a comment below if you tried this foundation and what other foundation you would like me to try i've got a mecca parcel coming to me sometime this week so i might film a mecca haul let me know if you guys would like to see that and if you want me to use a tutorial based on the products that i got from there i got quite a few so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.